Have you ever stopped to wonder about the fascinating life of a stork? Well, if you haven't, prepare to have your curiosity piqued. Storks, those tall, majestic birds with long legs and necks, are something of an enigma in the world of avians. Often seen standing silent and still, they possess an air of mystery and grace that is truly captivating. But there's more to these creatures than meets the eye. Storks are not confined to a single corner of the globe. No, they are true cosmopolitans, spreading their wings across the continents. From the sun-baked plains of Africa to the verdant wetlands of Europe and Asia, storks can be found in a variety of habitats. Some species have even made the leap to the Americas, adorning the skies of the New World with their elegant flight. One of the most distinguishing features of storks is their long, pointed bill. This isn't just for show, mind you. It's an essential tool for their survival, adept at snapping up fish, frogs, and even small mammals. When it comes to food, storks are not picky eaters. But what sets storks apart from other birds is their unique social behavior. Storks are often seen in large colonies, a testament to their strong social bonds. They communicate using a variety of signals, but the most distinctive is probably bill clattering, a rapid opening and closing of their beaks that creates a clattering sound, much like applause. Storks also have a peculiar way of greeting each other. They stretch their necks upwards and clatter their bills, a sight to behold, signifying their joy in each other's company. It's a stark reminder that the world of birds is not so different from our own, filled with social norms, rituals, and a sense of community. Storks truly are fascinating creatures, aren't they? But there's so much more to learn. So, stick around as we dive deeper into the world of storks, a journey that promises to be as intriguing as it is enlightening. Did you know that storks have a significant place in various cultures and folklore around the world? Dive into the world of myth and folklore, and you'll find these graceful birds occupying a special place. Storks, with their striking appearance and intriguing behavior, have inspired countless stories and beliefs. Many cultures regard them as symbols of good fortune and fertility, a notion that has been passed down through generations. In ancient Greek and Roman mythology, storks were associated with springtime and renewal, owing to their migratory patterns. Their return from wintering grounds was seen as a herald of spring, a time of rebirth and growth. The stork's ability to soar high into the sky also made them a symbol of spiritual ascension and communication with the divine. One of the most enduring folklore associated with storks comes from Northern Europe. The legend has it that storks, with their long beaks and powerful wings, are responsible for delivering babies to new parents. This charming tale has been popularized in children's storybooks and cartoons, forever linking these birds to the miracle of birth. In the Far East, specifically in China and Japan, storks bear auspicious symbolism. They are revered as emblems of longevity and prosperity. The sight of a stork in these cultures is considered a good omen, bringing with it hope and blessings. In some African cultures, the stork is a symbol of wisdom and vigilance. Their habit of standing on one leg for long periods with an unwavering gaze gives an impression of deep contemplation and watchfulness, attributes that are highly valued. Interestingly, in Egyptian hieroglyphics, the stork symbol is used to represent the concept of the Ba, which is considered an aspect of a person's soul. This shows how deeply ingrained the stork's symbolism is in ancient cultures. As we can see, storks not only fascinate us with their natural behavior, but also with their cultural significance. From fertility and renewal to wisdom and soul, storks have been attributed with various symbolic meanings. These interpretations reflect our human fascination with these magnificent creatures, enriching our cultural narratives and enhancing our appreciation of nature. What do you think a stork's menu looks like? While storks are not picky eaters, as carnivores, these majestic birds have quite a varied diet that includes fish, insects, frogs, and even small mammals. The stork's diet is predominantly aquatic. They love fish, so much so that many species of storks live near bodies of water where they can easily find their favorite meal. Insects also make up a significant portion of their diet. From beetles to grasshoppers, if it's small and crawls, it's likely on the stork's menu. But that's not all. Storks are also known to snack on frogs and small mammals. They use their long, sharp beaks to snatch up these unsuspecting creatures, often in one swift motion. 
So, if you're a frog or a field mouse, you better watch out when a stork is nearby. Storks have a unique hunting style that sets them apart. They use their long legs and sharp beak to stir up the water or grass, disturbing the hiding places of their prey. Then, with lightning speed, they strike, catching their meal before it even knows what's happening. But remember, these birds aren't just eating for fun. Like all creatures, storks need to eat to survive. Their diet provides them with the energy they need to fly, nest and raise their young. So the next time you see a stork, you'll know it's on the lookout for its next meal. Ever wondered about the journey of a stork from an egg to an adult? Well, let's delve into the captivating life cycle of a stork. Storks embark on their life journey within an egg, usually one of three to five laid in a nest built high off the ground. The parents share the duty of incubating the eggs, which lasts for a period of about a month. Once hatched, the young chicks are completely dependent on their parents for warmth, protection, and nourishment. In a matter of weeks, these chicks transform into fledglings, ready to take their first timid flight. They grow at an impressive pace, thanks to a hearty diet of fish, frogs, and insects delivered by their diligent parents. The mating rituals of storks are quite a spectacle, involving an intricate dance of bill clattering and sky pointing. These rituals serve to strengthen the bond between the mating pairs, who typically mate for life. As they mature into adults, storks undertake the important task of continuing their lineage. They return to their birthplace often the very same nest their parents used to lay their eggs and raise their young. Storks have a fairly long lifespan for birds, often reaching 20 to 30 years in the wild. Their life cycle, filled with moments of growth, learning and survival, perfectly encapsulates the circle of life. From a tiny egg to a majestic bird, the life journey of a stork is truly a wonder of nature. Are storks thriving, or are they struggling to survive? This is a question that sparks keen interest and concern among nature enthusiasts and conservationists alike. The answer, unfortunately, is not as straightforward as one might hope. Across the globe, the conservation status of storks varies considerably. Some species are flourishing, while others are threatened or even on the brink of extinction. The primary threats to storks, as is the case with many wildlife species, are habitat loss and pollution. Habitat loss is often a consequence of human activity, such as deforestation for agriculture or urban development. This leaves storks with fewer places to nest, feed and breed, which in turn puts a strain on their population numbers. Pollution, on the other hand, can contaminate the water bodies where storks feed, leading to a decrease in their food supply and even causing direct harm to the storks themselves. But it's not all doom and gloom. Efforts are being made worldwide to conserve these magnificent birds and to mitigate the threats they face. Conservation initiatives range from habitat restoration to legislation aimed at protecting storks and their environments. These efforts often involve collaboration between governments, non-profit organizations and local communities, reflecting the broad recognition of the importance of biodiversity and the value of storks within it. Moreover, individual actions can also play a significant role in stork conservation. Simple steps like reducing, reusing and recycling can help curb pollution. Supporting sustainable practices, whether in agriculture or development, can help to slow habitat loss. And advocating for the protection of wildlife and their habitats can influence policy and legislation. So, are storks thriving or struggling to survive? The answer is, it depends. But one thing is clear, the fate of storks is intertwined with our own actions and choices. As we continue to marvel at these incredible creatures, let's remember our role in ensuring their survival for generations to come.